Hi guys, my name is Malik and today I will teach you how to install the new Windows 10 on a computer together with Windows 7 without losing your personal data and during installation your new Windows 10 will be activated automatically. First, you need to allocate space on your computer's disk. To do this, click the start button and in the window that opens, write this command. Press enter. The disk management window opens. Right click on Drive C and select Shrink Volume. In this window, we see Total Volume Size, Available Space for Windows 10, and in this tab, we can enter the required size for Windows 10. All values in this window are in megabytes. To specify the size of the allocated space, we can simply delete this number and write another number we need. For this part of the disk, I allocate 300,000 megabytes, that is, 300 gigabytes. You can specify a different size based on the size of your disk. Just below is the total size after compression. Now you need to click Shrink. Now we see that disk C has been divided into two parts. In one part is my C drive with Windows 7. In the other part, there is unallocated space, and this is exactly the part of disk C on which we need to install the new Windows 10. Now you need to create a bootable USB flash drive for Windows 10, and to do this, connect a USB flash drive of at least 8 gigabytes to your computer. I have already done this, and the capacity of my USB flash drive will be quite enough. Now open your browser, and in the browser search engine type, download Windows 10. Or open the description of my video, and click on the link to the Windows 10 download website. A page has been opened on the Microsoft website. Here you can find out all the details about using Windows 10. To download Windows 10 on your computer, click here and the media creation tool will be downloaded on your computer. The application has loaded and you can close the browser. I open the Explorer folder, then the Downloads folder and double-click on Media Creation Tool. The application has been started, and here you must accept the Microsoft license terms. We don't need to update our computer. We need to create a bootable Windows 10 USB flash drive. Next. In this window, you can select any language for Windows 10. I leave everything as is. Next. In this window, you must select to create a bootable Windows 10 USB flash drive. Next. In this window, we see our USB flash drive. Next. We don't have to do anything for a while. You can relax and have a cup of coffee or tea. The process is completed. Click Finish. Let's look at our flash drive. Yes, all the necessary files are on the USB flash drive. And now you need to restart the computer and start installing Windows 10. To boot your computer from a USB flash drive, you must call the boot menu. To do this, immediately after the start of the reboot, constantly press the key to call the boot menu. I press F9, for you it could be F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key. Find your bootable USB flash drive in the boot menu. Press Enter. The main menu opened. Next. Here click Install Now. In this window, click, I don't have a product key, because your new Windows 10 will activate automatically. In this window, you must select the same edition of Windows 10 that you had before. If you had Windows 7 Home, select Windows 10 Home. If you had Windows 7 Professional or Ultimate, you need to select Windows 10 Pro, and then your Microsoft license will be saved, and the new Windows 10 will be activated automatically. I used to have Windows 7 Professional, and that's why I choose Windows 10 Pro next. 
I accept the license terms. Next. To continue with the installation, click here. In this window, we see the C drive of my computer, several small system partitions, and the disk with unallocated space that I created for Windows 10. It is possible that in addition to the C drive, your computer also has a D drive or several other drives, but in any case, you do not need to do anything with these drives and partitions in this window, so as not to lose personal data. To continue installing the new Windows 10, you need to click on the disk with unallocated space, and then click Next. And the Windows 10 installation will begin immediately. You don't have to do anything for a while, and you can relax. Your computer will automatically restart several times. Please do not turn off your computer. The Windows 10 installation is coming to an end and now we have to do some configurations. Choose your region. Now the keyboard layout. Skip. I will use Windows for myself. Next. Here you need to enter your Microsoft account information. If you don't have a Microsoft account, click Create Account and then follow the prompts to sign up. I'll create a local account and I'll click here. In this window, you must enter your username. Next. You'll need to enter a password here, but I'll do that later. Next. I'll turn off all these privacy settings so my computer will run faster. Accept. The new Windows 10 welcomes us, there is not much left. Yes, I did it, and now I have a new Windows 10 on my computer. I hope everything went well for you too. I click the start button, then settings. Open Accounts, and here we see that my Windows 10 is managed by a local account. If you want to sign in to a Microsoft account, or create a new Microsoft account, click here. Let's see how the activation of the new Windows 10 went. I will open the window, Settings, the Update and Security window. In this window, click here, and your new Windows will receive all security updates. Now I will open the tab activation. Yes, my new Windows 10 is activated according to my digital license. So, we have installed Windows 10, now let's see how we can open Windows 7. To do this, we need to restart the computer. Immediately after rebooting the computer, the system selection menu opened. Using the keyboard, you need to go to Windows 7 and press Enter. The computer rebooted again, and now we enter Windows 7. My video tutorial is coming to an end. If you found this video useful and liked it, please support it with a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. Have a nice day.